Hey everyone, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. I have a Hummer H2 that I'm replacing the radio on. This radio is the same from 99 to about 2006 in all Chevy and GM trucks. Works with the Cadillac Escalades, works with the H2s, the 1500 Silverados, the 2500 Silverados, the Yukons, the Tahos. All of them are pretty much the same plug and play radio. The problem is these radios are encoded to the VIN of the vehicle. They're programmed to a previous vehicle. So if you try to swap out a radio, there's an anti-theft device inside, internally, in the radio that won't allow you to plug the radio into a new vehicle and let it work. So you'll see here, it just says locked. Well, again, like I said, it's plug and play, so you plug it in and the radio powers up, but I'm getting no sound out of it. A lot of times what I've read on the internet is if I press one and four and hold, a code will come up, you can call an 800 number. Or I've read that you can hold two and three, a number comes up on the radio display, you can call the 800 number, they give you the code again. The other option is to go to GM and have them program the new radio to the new VIN of the new vehicle. Well, it's $150. So if you don't want to spend the $150, I'm going to show you today how to cheat the radio to get it to work in your new car. The first thing we're going to do after we remove the radio is flip the radio upside down and we're going to pry the bottom cover off just by taking a small flathead screwdriver and prying this hole over the nipples on all sides of the radio. Well, this radio has a tape deck, so with some five millimeter bolts, we just took them out. We're gonna pull this forward, and right here, this piece right there, is what we will be removing. That is the EEPROM, E-E-P-R-O-M. I'm gonna try that out and see if it works. So here it is right here. We just kind of wiggled it out. I'm gonna remove it. So if you don't have a tape deck, you wouldn't have had to remove and replace this, but obviously make sure when you put the tape deck back in, it's faced the right way. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get your cassettes back in there if you still have cassettes. Now, here is the part right here. Let's see, where is it on the camera? Right there. Part number is S35-5093, I believe. Okay, well, we have it plugged in. Start the car up. Is it going to say locked? It does not say locked. It's going to shoot the DVD out. I mean, I had a... Let's see what was in here. Need to Breathe by Rivers in the Wasteland. Turn it on. Calibration error. That should go away in a second. And there we go. We have our radio. So that is how you unlock the radio. Now, fair warning, I did read that it may not memorize your presets. I'm not sure about that. And I guess calibration error is going to have to come up every time. So if we go to 98.1, let's see if we hold it. All right, I think we have it memorized. Let's try again. All right, 98.1. We'll shut it off. Start it up again. Does it remember we were on 98.1? Yep, it doesn't remember your presets. That's the only drawback to this. Hopefully this helped. Hey, do me a favor. If this video was at all helpful for you, please thumbs up and subscribe so you get more car video tips and tricks. Thank you very much, everyone.